In this video, I'm going to show you how you can connect your Porkborn domain to your GitHub pages. So what you need to do once you're on your GitHub dashboard is find the project. So mine is here. We're going to click on it and then we'll go to settings in the top right hand corner. Once you're here, you want to then look for pages. So that will be here in the bottom left hand corner. Now we're in pages. You can see my website is live using a GitHub subdomain. If we click on it, here is the website. It is a very simple static page that I've created just for this demo. Now what we'll do is we'll scroll down to custom domain. Here we can enter in our custom domain. So I'm going to go to porkbun.com. We'll go account. We'll go domain management. That will list all of the domains I've got available. For me though, I'm just going to connect knowledgebasedtutorial.com as it's the only one. So I've copied it from Porkbun. We'll then go back here. We'll type www and then we'll paste in my domain and then click save. Now that will save it to GitHub and now it's going to start scanning for the DNS records. Now we just need to add them. So go to Porkbun, go to DNS and Porkbun, they have a quick DNS config which allows you to quickly add the records. We'll see if this works together. If it doesn't work, you can add them manually. So we'll click GitHub, we'll click OK. So five records should be added. The A records are gonna stay the same but it's going to ask you what your CNAME record should be. Now here it's saying username.github.io and this is correct. You want to enter in your GitHub username here. So on any other domain registration company, you have to add these manually, but because they have a preset, all we need to do is type in our GitHub username here. So go ahead and find your GitHub username, which in my case is knowledgebaseyt. We can then enter that in here. So delete username, then type in your username. Remember that's your username to GitHub. So knowledgebaseyt, which is my GitHub username, .github.io. Then click submit. Okay, so that has been successfully added. We'll click OK. Okay, so now it's added all of these records and I was correct. There's four A records and these never change. They also added some AAAA records, which is fine. You don't even need these, but they've added them anyway. And the CNAME record, which is also important. Make sure you've got your username.github.io. Once you've done that, you can go back to your domain. Um, it should be working from now on, uh, but you can just refresh this and it's going to check the DNS uh, settings here. Now, this might not update straight away, so you might not get this green straight away. So you can see it's red for me. Now, this can take up to five hours. You just got to be patient. But if you do check your domain here and click on it, so it isn't currently working, we are going to have to wait a couple of minutes. So you've just got to be patient. Keep refreshing this until this starts working and we'll just check the site and here you can see the site has connected uh, we do have a not secure warning that's because the ssl certificate hasn't been generated yet and also this isn't green yet but honestly you just have to wait up to five hours another thing that you can do is if you go to dns checker you can go ahead and paste in your domain in this dns checker and if everything is green here it means you've done everything correctly you just got to wait for the dns records to propagate and once they've done that and they've propagated everything will be connected but like i say it is working and that's all we need to do